Cairo did this. What up, y'all? So, I don't know. You ever feel like torn between or kind of, I don't even know if I feel like guilty in a way because uh, I'm free to do what I want to do, right? But for some reason, man, I feel like I um I jump ship like I went from Apple to Android uh, or from Apple computers to Windows computers or PCs or whatever. But man, for a long time I've been uh I've been trying to distance myself from committing myself to this chick called Machina, right? And it's it's because I've been I've been a long time fanboy of the NPC club and I'm still a fanboy. Uh but I, I wanna I wanna just put out there why I, I decided not to go with the uh the NPC X or or the um NPC Live or even the Touch or um any of the other versions outside of the Renaissance. Um one, I, I think that the that the uh the software prior to uh, 2.0 was was cool as far as the uh, Akai software, but it was just a lot of things that I was waiting on in between time as far as making my decision on whether I would go the MPCX or if I would go MPC Live or whatever it may be. And during that time, I took a, a break from from music to uh, focus on some graphic design stuff, and so. Uh, in turn, I decided to get back on the beats, but with a fresh mind. So with that fresh mind, I decided not to touch Reason, um, which I'm, I'm running Reason 9.5 right now. And I don't really use um, VSTs and Reason um, because I have other uh, DAWs that I use. So I don't really have to use uh, VSTs, but but um, I still love Reason also. Um, but even with uh, Reason, I just wanted to take a break from reason because that's something that I've been on since 2.5 um, and like I said with the Akai software I've been with them since day one when the Renaissance first came out um, I got that um, out of the first batch uh, and so I, I had had the, uh, the Machina uh, software since I got the Machina Micro but let me stop lying I actually got the Machina um, MK1 when it first dropped and uh, it was prior to Akai coming out with their software with their um, PC based um, <laughs> devices man or their hardware um, and software setups and I was uh, I was kind of I'm not going to say upset but um, I had an MPC uh, I started out with an MPC 62 uh, back in the day, I'm not going to show my age, but I'm 42. I ain't, I ain't scared. But anyway, um, I had a 62 and then I went from that to a MPC 3000. And I um, also had like some of the rack mount uh, mo uh, modules, which was like a S2000 and, and a few of the others. Uh, but I'd always, um, once I got into Reason real good and, and got into Pro Tools, I said, dang, it'd be dope if the NPCs were um, able to better connect with with this um software world that we getting in and so when the 1000 came out it was cool but i still had to kind of run it um in a, in a almost like a, a rewire type setup um uh, with with reason and with uh pro tools running at the same time so it was kind of um hard on, on the uh computer that i had on which i was running a, a mac pro um 2006 version and so over time, I was like, dang, man, I still want a, an a NPC type software or something like that. So I went in um, the Guitar Center, and of course, Guitar Center is cool as a last resort. Uh, you can't really go in there asking questions if you don't really know what you want, because I, I, I just feel that they're going to try to sell you on, on what's ever popular, and it may not be the thing for you, because I, I used to um, buy stuff that I realized that I didn't need. Um, but anyway, no sh no shade against Guitar Center at all, because I, I, like I said, I think they're pretty cool, but I like to get most of my stuff online through American Musical. Uh, but anyway, trying to keep this short, man, and I guess I'm trying to build up, like, not my excuse, but my reason for wanting to try something different. So anyway, when I got the uh, MK1, when it first came out, I took it home, and I thought that the, the setup 
um, or, or the, the, the way it worked was going to be like I was used to those those uh, MPC 3000s or, or the uh, the 60 uh, that I had uh, because that's what the guy sold me on. He was like, this is this is just like an MPC, but it's actually an MPC killer and you're going to be able to connect and go and this, that and the other and it's going to work with reason and all this blah, blah, blah. Did not happen. Um, and the learning curve, man, with those those scenes and those patterns, I just couldn't get around to get getting over like two bars or, or one scene and, and having it um, feel like I was in song mode um, with um, working on the NPC. So anyway, I kept it for about a month. I think I did about maybe one or two beats because I just couldn't get into it. Um, so I ended up selling it. And so over time, um, when I created, um, actually not even, even before I created the music ground, just going online and seeing like what people were working on outside of reason. It was, it was Ableton, it was Fruity Loops, it was, uh, the, the machina software it was, um, a few others. Um, uh, but the, the one that was really competitive against, uh, reason and, and the Akai software, um, once the, uh, uh, Akaya, uh, I mean, once the uh, Renaissance had came out, it was it was the Machina, and I just kind of wanted to skip past to why I got into Renaissance because it only made sense because I'm a NPC fanboy, so that's why I skipped over that. But anyway, um, I decided to give the micro uh, a, a shot because I said at least let me get back into it because I I, I always loved um, the sound library from what I'd heard from friends, uh, from what I saw over the internet, so I got the micro. Um, and I and I and I sat with it for for almost a year and still didn't really like that that setup as far as the workflow went. But I loved the sounds, so I kind of used it as a VST in the uh, in the Kai software. But like I said, when I when I came back from my from my music um, or production hiatus, uh, I said, man, I'm gonna learn this, man, because I had this this thing too long, and I felt like I needed to to give it a shot. And so, man, I got into it and I started liking it, not liking it in a way where I felt like it would replace what the uh, the Renaissance could do or the Akai software could do. But it's like sometimes you get in those modes where you want to try something new. And then I knew that I wanted um, I was trying to debate whether I would get, um, like I said, the one of the new NPCs or um either the uh the machina studio or uh what i'm gonna share with you right now um so i started liking it and i said well the mpcx is is uh 21 you know 100 uh, the live i think is about 1100 or whatever um money wasn't an issue but the thought behind it was an issue and and the way that i am is kind of like when i go and buy shoes I, I got shoes to match my outfits, right? So, in other words, if if I get a pair of shoes and I'm like, I'm only gonna wear this once or twice because I don't really have much for, uh, that's gonna match them. I'm not gonna get no lime green shoes, knowing I'm not gonna wear them every day. And plus, I don't really like lime green like that. But anyway, I'm just saying, I'm just proving a point. So, with the with the the new NPCs, I just felt like I'm not. I don't take my 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 studio equipment outside of my my place of residence because of the fact I already have my own set up here at home and and I just feel like I don't roam around with my equipment so I don't need standalone mode I had standalone mode before and even when I was in standalone which was the MPC 3000 or the MPC 60 I still kept it inside my studio when I had um, my label back in the day with, with my dad and my uncle and so I was like I don't I don't need to change my hardware in order to stay on tap with the software that Akai currently has, has it, 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 other than the fact that 2.0 allows me to do audio tracks. Um, hopefully, eventually, Akai does give um, the Renaissance and the studio uh, users um, the, the, the audio tracks, but if not, it's all good because I still use... Uh, Pro Tools uh, to, to record vocals into and then also uh, Reason. Um, but man, I just felt like I wanted to, I wanted something different. If I'm going to spend the money, I, I need to, to, to be, uh, I needed to spend it um, in a way where I was going to feel like I, I invested in something that's going to be like 
challenging or going to be different from what you know I already have. And so in doing in doing what what I what I'm currently decide what I currently decided to do, I felt like it was the right thing to do as far as the the, the money goes, as as far as in terms of investment, um, as far as the 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 motivation that's going to come from me learning something new as well. I know over time, everything gets old. Um, but, but again, I have, you know, several dolls that I work on, which is like I said, pro tools. I have reason, um, which is 9.5 that I'm on. I don't know if I'm going to jump on 10 right just yet because I don't see anything in that software for me to pay the 129 for the upgrade because everything that they pretty much have in the upgrade I already have which is the radical keys and, and uh, I had a radical you know set up um, both for those um, and then I have uh, the synchronous and stuff like that and then the new modules yeah I got VSTs for that uh, and like I said with the with the uh, Akai setup it, it was just not in the books for me so I said what should I do so of course the new machina came out, the MK3. Uh, yeah, I, I decided to go that route. I watched a bunch of videos. I was trying to determine, do I want to go the studio or do I want to go the MK3? The studio, which is about the size of the Renaissance. Um, yeah, cool. Um, I got enough desk space here, um, but I was like... Let me go with, with, with what's new right now. I know a lot of times you don't really want to jump into what's brand new. I can tell you for a fact you don't want to jump into what's brand new because when the Mac Pro came out 2006, I got the first model of that and I'm stuck in um, OS 10.7.5. I can't upgrade that. So, of course, I had to jump on a MacBook Pro so that I can stay current where I can run both graphic design software is up to date and, and all my uh, music production software is up to date. Um, but anyway, not about uh, graphics or, or computers and stuff like that. This is just about why I decided to go Machina. So, or, or bigger Machina than the Micro. So, my issue with the Micro is the software is cool, but you don't get to fully enjoy the software with this one knob. Uh, yeah, man, this one knob. It, it, it's cool I think if you if you know the software well enough like I don't I don't think this I, I personally don't feel if you hate the machine of software or if you got a, a, a gripe against the machine of software especially coming off of MPC the micro ain't the way to go for you because this one knob is gonna piss you off and then having to hit um, you know shift and pan your way around so much uh, to get around the software it's, it's just not feasible um, and of course um, I mean the the, the L, uh, LED screen and the LED screen on um, both set to setups which is the Renaissance or LED, LED or LCD I don't know which one it is but anyway don't hold that to me because I'm not here for that but anyway, whatever type screen it is, it's, it's not um, cool enough. Now, the MPC uh, standalones, those screens are dope. They're big, they're dope, they're visual. Bam, I get it. Um, but I felt like I, I wanted to jump into something that was going to give me the experience. So I didn't want to go too big with the studio because I had the, the Renaissance. And I felt like that, even though I have it on the stand, I felt that I had enough... Uh, I had enough big stuff, so I kind of wanted to go in between, um, and I remember the size of the of the MK1 when I had it, and, and looking at that MK3, I was like, man, this is probably for me, because I got the dual screens, I got enough knobs, and I got an, enough ways to pan around, and I'm, I'm used to shift, hit and shift now, but it seems like you don't have to hit shift as much on the... Um, on the Machina MK3, um, I don't really want to do an unboxing. I mean, an unboxing. Um, I'll show y'all the, the actual box if you want to see it. But there's enough unboxing videos out there, so that's why I ain't really um, trying to show you the the actual uh, unboxing setup. But uh, but I will pull it out in a minute because I just got it from UPS right now, and I just cut, uh, took the razor blade and cut it open. Um, but I was like, man, let me do a, a video as to why, just in case my homies want to know. Um, why I jump ship? Um, but yeah, man, I'm not I'm not cheating on, on on my on my girl the Renaissance here. She just gonna have to share me. Um, but 
but yeah, I, I want to get better with the with the machine of software. I do like the sound library. I do like the way um, I do like the drums uh, synth. Uh, I like the bass synth setup, and I just like the the workflow as far as things that you're able to do over the Akai software. Now, part of that could be because I'm a little stubborn with the Akai software as far as how I utilize it. I utilize it as a software to a, an extent, but I mostly use it the way I used to use the legacy uh, devices or hardware um, where I, I would I would do most of the stuff just... I, I mean, that's why I didn't want to get in like the, the NPC touch and all of that because I don't need touch screen and all of that kind of stuff. Maybe it's because I'm an old head, no hate against, like I said, people that's into that. It's just what I prefer. Um, so like I said, I just kind of wanted to to break the habit of what I was used to and get into something brand new for me because I, I, I think that, one, it's not the 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 hardware or equipment that that makes you a better producer but the mood um that's created by whatever you have does set the vibe right kind of like if you got dim light versus uh, a bright light in a room you make better music i think for me especially in in a uh a dimmer room um certain lighting has an effect I, I know some people like candles going some people like uh, uh, a darker wall which i am going to set up in here eventually um this this actually is my loft and it used to be a, a a movie room for me but i brought i switched my garage from my studio and brought it into the house so i just haven't gotten around to painting and stuff and putting on my my foam and all of that but anyway yeah man so i just wanted to to kind of set the mood for me to enjoy what I was going to be doing musically, um, reason has been in my, in my, um, my arsenal for a while, um, I love it, but I felt like they kind of got lazy to us fanboys, where it's kind of like, they know we gonna buy it, so they don't change much, or give us much to really bite on, but we still upgrade, we still pay the 129, um, to upgrade, just because we got it, and we feel we want to just keep up with what everybody else is doing, same thing with the NPCs, um, I just felt like over the years, they kind of changed their workflow, um, of course, when they came out with the, the, uh, the NPC touch, I think that that was a game changer, and then these, these new standalones, they were, they were game changers, they dope i'm not hating on those but i just felt for me it wasn't the way for me to go and so in in um my decision i just felt like the machina mk3 mach 3 however you want to title this thing man i felt like it was it was just the the way for me to go because i'm starting to enjoy the software and if I enjoy the software, I need to enjoy the workflow. I need to get more than one knob. I need to be able to 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 do a lot of things. And even this this uh, swipe strip or whatever they title it now, I'm gonna start using that. Don't hold me to none of the the, the terminology of this thing right now, cause I ain't even. This is my first time touching it, and I ain't one of them dudes that talk about decibels and all that. I make I make good music. I know how to do it. I may not know how to technically tell you how to do it but i can get it done i can mix my ass off i can make dope beats and all of that kind of stuff but i don't get into all of the the bougie conversation because i'm from la man i just keep it real i get it done i've always done it i've been making beats since i was about 13 years old and on my own since i was in my like i think about 18 17 18 but anyway i do what i do i rap i make beats i can sing if ah, i can carry a note i ain't no singer but anyway i just keep it real um so uh, I, I just think that um, this this is more for like musical exercise. Um, there's some other things that I got going on and I ain't gonna brag about right now. Um, but but yeah, so I it, it's just time, man. I, I just want to have some fun with it. And like I say, man, let me just let me just show it to y'all before I, before I shut him down and, and say and say goodbye for the day. But yeah, it's still wrapped up. I ain't even touched the touched it yet. Um, so that's it. So I'm gonna have some fun with this thing. The pads are, are, are bigger, man, and I and they're bigger than the MK1 actually. But yeah, I'm gonna twist some knobs. I'm gonna have some fun. Like I said, this ain't an unboxing video because I think everybody has seen enough of those. But I'm gonna enjoy this thing, man. Um, and I'm learning how to uh, create my own drum kits and all that kind of stuff and and do extra stuff because I do got a lot of drum sounds that I had over the years from me sampling back in the day and uh, sampling from like uh, records and stuff. Um, drum sounds and, and, and spacing those out. So 
yeah, man. So, like I say, man, that that's it, man. Uh, it's just why I chose to go the route I went. And like I say, this ain't no video that I'm doing for, for likes and, and none of that. Um, I don't, you know, it, it, it's not one of those things where I'm trying to convince people to do what I did. Because like I said, I think music is based on choice, preference, and what makes you feel good when you're doing what you like or love doing. Um, some of us do it as a hobby. Some of us do it as a career. Some of us do it. Um, if we if we get a dime out of it, we'll, we'll take that dime with a smile. Um but whatever you do, make music because it makes you it, it, you enjoy it and it makes you feel good when you're doing it, man. And, and don't let nobody tell you what you should and should not buy. Like I said, it's your money. Spend it how you love it. And um, that's that's what it's about, man. But I, I think that is more so than the competition to spend it. It's about the enjoyment of, of investing in yourself and, and what you love doing. So um, but yeah, this is why I went with Machina, man. Uh, it's just because I felt that it was just a change for me uh, and, and more um, advancement into what I was already getting used to with this micro i just wanted to take it a step or a leap further um so yeah so um i am the cairo um the cairo did this that's my new thing man and uh yeah plug in get connected we are tmr thank y'all for those who who wanted to um stick around and watch this video like i said it ain't a tutorial or it ain't no kind of uh trying to persuade you to do what i did type video but it is some people may want to know why certain people choose what they choose man and i just chose i felt wisely for what my what my um what my emotions had at the time man so that's what it is have a good one i'm out the cairo did this